Have you noticed that over the last few months there have been more and more news articles and television programs extolling the virtues of eating insects, bugs, worms? Uh, a lot of people are concerned about this and I thought as a doctor I should make a video and say, hey, here's the nutritional and the medical background on this. Here's what you need to know. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician. Let's talk about whether you should eat insects or not. Here lately, every time I open up a news website, there's another article about eating mealworms or about eating crickets or grasshoppers or this worm or that worm or some other insect. And it seems that this is becoming very popular. A lot of people are very excited about this source of nutrition for a ever increasing world population. Other people are very, very concerned that their government entities are going to try to force them to eat insects and so let's let's break it all down let's back up as let's take a deep breath let's relax and let's talk about eating insects is this part of a proper human diet or not so the first thing we need to look at is the ancestral appropriateness of this how long have human beings been eating insects so there is ample archaeological and anthropological evidence that human beings have been eating insects of one variety or another for millennia. In many cases, making up the majority of some people's diet for certain parts of their lives. And so ancestrally, it seems like this is an ancestrally appropriate way to eat if you choose to do so. And I, I think that the word choose uh, matters a lot. The next thing we need to look at is the nutritional profile of insects and I, I found a little bit of data surprisingly there's not much data uh, as far as the nutrition for human beings go I found a paper that basically gives the nutrition facts for mealworms and crickets with regard to feeding them to your pets but I think that their their amino acid fatty acid vitamin and mineral profiles are going to be the same whether you feed them to your pets or to your children. And as you can see, crickets and mealworms are a pretty darn good source of protein, a pretty darn good source of minerals and vitamins. Uh, I don't think that you're gonna develop any nu nutrient deficiencies if you choose to eat insects, worms, or bugs. But always keep in mind that there is a range of nutrient density. And so in my opinion, from years of my nutrition research, it looks to me like the most nutrient dense, healthiest foods for human beings to eat are ruminant animals and seafood taking first place, and then chicken, pork, and other monogastric animals, and then insects coming in third place, and then finally plants. And so even though there's a huge yuck factor with eating worms and insects, they do not contain the phytochemicals like many, most plants do that tend to lock up vitamins and minerals and make them unavailable for absorption. For full disclosure, I raise mealworms here on the farm. I don't eat them. I feed them to our quail and turkey and chickens. Uh, but there are many people who raise them for human beings to eat. I have tried a cricket. I have tried a mealworm in the past. I was not a huge fan, but if I got hungry enough, guess what? I would eat the crickets and mealworms. And that brings me to my final point, the economics. And this is something that we all need to take very, very seriously, whether we decide personally to eat bugs and worms or not. Uh, if you pay attention to geopolitics and demography at all, you realize that in the coming years and decades, there are going to probably be 2 billion people on the edge of famine, or if not in the middle of a devastating famine. And so if we can scale up insect production and have a source of, of protein, vitamins, minerals, and fat that these people can eat rather than having to depend on the nutrient void plant foods or just starve to death, then I think we should definitely do that. Uh, your ability to eat insects, the yuck factor, is inversely proportional to just how damn hungry you are. Meaning that if you're not very hungry, it's yucky, you're not gonna eat them. But if you're on the verge of starvation, guess what? A little salt, saute those mealworms in bacon grease, we're off to the races. 
So to wrap this up, I do think that insects are can be part of a proper human diet if you choose to eat them or feed them to your children. Uh, I think at all points, this should be voluntary, whether you eat them or feed them to your children, this should never be enforced by any government entity. Eating insects or the powders obtained from processing them uh, for many people on a plant-based diet, a vegan diet, that might actually be a wonderful nutritious addition to their currently nutrient void diet to keep them from developing nutrient deficiencies. Hope this video helped. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.